there's no question that the Russians interfered in the 2016 election. The question now is, will they succeed again in 2020? It's just we know the Russians have a unique blend of interest, intent, and capability that makes uh, us all very worried. And there have been multiple uh, Russian IP addresses identified as those trying to influence both our, sec our systems, but also the, the campaign of disinformation. The federal government is fighting back with security reinforcements, including by giving Connecticut $5 million just to ramp up election security. Towns have secured software, instituted dual authentication, requires password changes, and they train local officials to spot possible hacks. While Murphy says there's no evidence that foreign officials are sending out false absentee ballots, there is evidence that they're trying to sway voters' opinions on social media through misinformation. Over half of the content on Twitter today regarding coronavirus is likely coming from foreign sources. Of the content on social media today regarding Reopen America campaigns and messaging, a recent study suggests 60 to 70 percent of that is foreign-based propaganda, most likely coming from Russia. Facebook says they're going to better police political misinformation by restricting new political ads in the week before the election. They'll also take down posts that convey misinformation about COVID-19 and voting. In Hartford, Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.